Hey guys! So I wanted to make a quick video update for you guys on what I've been doing the past few weeks as far as nursing school and all of that. And I wanted to apologize really quick that I haven't done a video and I believe it's been like two weeks. Um, for those of you who know who watched my last video, I was out of town in Washington for the past week with my husband who's stationed up there and he just got back from deployment. And so I brought my video camera up there to record videos and I was like, I'll just record some videos up there. And I ended up not recording any videos up there just because we were enjoying our time together and I figured, you know, I'll just record some videos when I got back. So I just want to update you on what I've been doing since I finished my critical care rotation. So besides having that week off, I have started a new online class. It is pretty simple, you know, discussion boards, mini kind of papers, nothing too much. It's kind of just one of those tedious classes that you just got to do the work and, and you know, and you're fine. I also started a new clinical rotation. It's called my immersion. It's just eight 12 hour shifts. It's all I have left to do before I graduate. And so I did two of my shifts this week. I am on an intermediate care unit. It's also called IMCU, which I had never heard of before, but basically it's a mix between med surg and ICU. So it's not quite ICU. It's not quite med surg. It's right in the middle. And so I've just had two 12 hour shifts and no big changes on like what I'm doing as far as you know clinical wise basically I can do everything that the nurse can obviously I can't just go in and get the medications and pass them myself I have to have a nurse be there with me to pass medications one difference though is I am allowed to chart now and I've never been allowed to chart at the different hospitals I've been to and so at this hospital I'm at now I'm actually allowed to chart so I'm not just sitting next to my nurse now watching her chart or him chart the whole 12 hours now I actually go in and if I you know do my assessments I go in and I chart my assessments and I go in and chart the progress notes and all of those things and so I was actually telling my nurse this past week when I was charting I was like I know you're gonna think I'm really lame right now but I feel really cool charting and she's like don't worry you'll get over that one really quick and I just did because I've never been able to chart before besides like our care plans or like we have this thing called sim chart I've never been able to legit chart where like my name is signed next to my notes or my assessments and stuff like that so that's exciting I think it'll be great practice for when I actually start a job that I have some experience charting because I feel like that's one thing that I was lacking um, the experience of. So I have some really big news and I don't want to get my hopes up or say too much yet but when I was up in Washington I had a I guess you could say it was a job interview I emailed a nurse manager who I had the contact information for and I just said, hey, you know, I'm going to be in town. Here's my resume. I'd love to meet with you. And so we had like a little meeting. And so it wasn't an official interview, but she did ask me lots of interview like questions like, you know, what do your instructors tell you you do well? What do they tell you you need to improve on? What sort of skills have you learned? What kind of experiences do you have as far as clinicals? So it kind of was like an interview. And it went super, super, super well. And the manager actually emailed me the other day saying, hey, you know, we'd love for you to apply once you get your license, contact me. And so I don't have an official job. You know, I haven't signed any contracts. They haven't made me an offer, anything like that. But it is a very good opportunity and I'm excited about it. I'm excited that I have a possibility of having a job right after I graduate and take my NCLEX. And so again, I don't have a job yet, but I feel really good about it from what they've been telling me in my conversations with the nurse manager it seems like they would like to hire me, um, but you know, I never know what's going to happen between now and then, and I'm just going to not get my hopes up, but I am very excited about it. Okay, you guys, so that's just a little update on what I've been doing. I graduate one month from today, and I have lots of exciting videos planned for you guys. I have a list of like seven different videos I would like to record and post for you guys. And so I plan on doing that when time permits. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Get down. You're ruining my videos.